Hey guys, this is Griffin with MatterHackers.com and today I'm going to be demonstrating the basics of connecting your printer to a computer. We're going to assume you've never used this program before and you're trying to connect your printer for the first time. Now I'm going to be connecting an Airwolf 5.5 in this video, but it's a really general process so it'll work for most printers. The only difference will be the drivers you need to install, if any. Okay, So here we have the program open. Uh, we're assuming we've downloaded it from the Matter Control website. Um, and that you've never really opened it. Now we can see the different items and different settings and everything, but we're only going to focus on one thing today, and that's the button at the top here, uh, Add Printer. Go ahead and open that up. This will open up the printer selection window normally, but right now it's empty, so we'll change that. Um, we've only got a couple options here. It just takes us straight to the Add Printer menu, uh, which would normally be down here at the bottom. Um, so we'll just go ahead and name our printer. I'm going to name mine Yellow Airwolf because that is the type of printer that I have. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, so now we want to select the make. Um, we have the variety of uh, various RepRap printers on here. If you don't see your printer on here, that's fine. You can just select other here. Um, you might need to get drivers from your manufacturer or what have you, but it should work. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and select Airwolf 3D. Bam. All right, now we have the different models available here. The HD, the XL, the 5.5. I'm using a 5.5, so I can select either the ABS or the PLA. The only difference is the settings that are used um, when printing. So the ABS will have the higher temperature and everything. Uh, these are set by the manufacturer. I'm using PLA primarily, so I'll go ahead and select that. And we'll save. Okay. So what we want to do is make sure that our printer is on and that we have the connection cable ready to go. We'll keep it unplugged for now um, and go ahead and press continue. Okay, now we've got to make sure the printer's on and then we just go ahead and plug it in. All right, I'm all plugged in. And then the computer will detect your printer automatically and uh, go ahead and hit connect. So you just give it a second to uh, Try to find it, and hopefully you see something like this. Wonderful. Okay. So the connection has succeeded. Uh, that means you're pretty much ready to go, ready to start printing. You can go ahead and look at the uh, settings and such if you want to set that, but you should be good to go. Um, now, if it didn't work, don't worry. There are lots of reasons it can happen. Uh, lots of people who know the answers, and you know, you're going to be able to find a solution somewhere. We have articles on our site. We have forums. Um, you can always email us at support at matterhackers.com. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Um, so, you know, don't fret. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Good luck and happy printing.